Welcome to the Kendall Marshall video. Kendall Marshall, six foot four, 195 pounds. Let's start with pick and roll offense. He's a point guard. He finds Zeller on the slip right there. And you'll see he does a nice job. Great patience. Waiting for the picks, waiting for plays, gets in the paint. Doesn't have much of a shot. We'll go through more of that. But here he waits for the pick nicely, calmly, comes off it, finds the little pocket pass available. Again here at the top for North Carolina against Florida State. This guy slips it, goes to the weak side where Harrison Barnes is open. Very good floor recognition. Open court pick and roll. This is one of the more explosive plays you'll see from him. He gets in the lane, then hands off to Zeller. Uh, he's, again, waited for the pick. Blocked by Anthony Davis. You can see already in those last two plays, this is not a guy who's going to be able to elevate, finish at the rim. His shooting numbers were good, but it's a concern. Here's an open court, not entirely set, bad shot. Watch the difference in these videos. When he's set, has a lot of time, he's okay. When he's got a rusher shot, like right there, it is not as good at all, and it's problematic, I think, for him. There's a nice up and under pump fake late in the game in the ACC championship game. But now watch. Okay, quick release. Oh. Ugly. Now we'll go against Duke. He's working. He's going to go one on one, little off balance, fade back, air ball. These are disconcerting if you're watching him. Open floor, pull up jumper, banked it, didn't mean to. Left side, a lot of airspace, a lot of time, offline. That one he should really be making. He ends up shooting a pretty decent percentage in college. A lot of airspace, a lot of time makes that one. He shot about 36% from three, 48% overall. This one, again, a lot of airspace, a lot of time on an in and out. He's able to hit that shot. Open floor transition, gets a bunch of space, nice set feet with an equal set. Often he's got one foot in front of the other, which is a little problematic. This one you'll see he's got to have a quicker release coming here with the defender closing, not able to make that shot. There's a huge difference and a big question mark for him as an NBA player. Fast break, this guy's a point guard. He sees the floor. This is about as loose as you'll ever see him with a dribble, and it doesn't amount anything. He's not one who's going to finish, though. If you watch these, he has a tough time getting in the rim. Beautiful pass, almost surprised his teammate. Sees angles, sees plays. Really nice job with the passing, but as he tries to go to the basket, he's got to scoop it off down low. He, you know, That's a play, really, where he's got to go up and finish at the rim. And his one-on-one -on -one game, as shot clocks go down, he's crafty. It's Andre Miller-esque, actually. Almost. You watch him kind of up and under, all from underneath the rim, really underneath the net when you get to him. Another left-hand drive. He is left-handed. Step back jumper. He's off balance. That goes back to what we were talking about a moment ago. Here he is again. Left hand, scoop up. That's so Andre Miller, isn't it? Similar size, 6'4", 195. Working now with a left-hand dribble again in the lane. That's about as explosive as you'll see him on any play. Coming out here on the left wing. Tries to get into the paint. Hands it back. I put a long play in here just to see. Watch him. He's still working. A longer defender's on him now. He's going to have a really hard time now with the, the bigger defender. Even there, we got a ton of space off that pick and roll. He didn't go anywhere with it. Gets suffocated. Shot clock working its way down. He's got to try to go one-on-one. -on -one, off balance, unable to finish it. The, I'm not sure how he works it as a pro player. Here's into the paint and able a nice finish. That's probably one of the better uh, plays as well. Working here, a non-NBA defensive player, but he gets caught inside uh, and does not have the elevation to be able to beat somebody. Curls out because he doesn't have anything going. I just showed that to show where the penetration isn't there. Here he against Duke, gets in the lane, and it's crafty. Uh, the question has to be whether you can make those shots in the NBA. Those are very un-NBA-esque kind of flips and things. Left hand again, in the lane. Draws a foul. That's a rarity. Shoots two free throws a game. Disconcerting to me how rarely he goes to the line. And that's because even there, drives, kicks out. The passing's fabulous, but it's also where he gets himself in trouble. As you see here, he turns it over. Just doesn't go to the line, doesn't elevate up. That's not a part of his game. What is his game is passing, and he is elite. It is just terrific. Well, look at that little cut. A guy overplays the top. He reads it perfectly. Here he is again. Watch quickly. Cross-court pass. Perfect read. He's truly able to see all four players on the floor. And he pushes the fast break with a three-quarter court pass here to Zeller for an easy two. Now going back the other way against Duke. Same thing. One dribble. Oh, here we go. Sometimes it gets him in a little bit of trouble. There's the turnover. 
But for the most part, this guy turns it over very rarely. He turns it over when he gets inside the paint in trouble. Beautiful overplay on the top shoulder. He throws the pass to where one guy gets This thing's ridiculous. Watch this. Left-hand drive, over-the-shoulder pass back out to the top. Woo! This guy's a real passer. I put in some long plays here because if you watch him, he's got it right now. He's going to give this ball up, and then he's going to know where he when he wants it back already. As they set this up now, he's over on the far side. Right now, he already sees where he wants to go with this ball, and he gets it and gets rid of it. That's pretty special. He makes the guys around him better. There's no question. Guy comes in to flash the paint, and he's got a single step on his defender and able to find it for him. And finally, nice wrap around to Zeller inside. This guy can really pass it, really set up teammates. That's what he does well. Now, defensively, that's, that's a little bit of a different question. There's some real question marks here as you watch him. He'll be very tall in these pick and rolls, not really fight through it very well. Uh, here again, he gets through the first one, kind of, and then the second one comes. These are not dramatically dynamic point guards he's facing right here, uh, and he's still struggling staying with these guys. That's a reach-in foul as he's very poor in his lateral. Uh, when he stops laterally, he's not able to change direction. Blow by there against Teague. He had a tough day against Kentucky uh, defensively. We'll play some one-on-one -on -one sets. He had one nice defensive sequence in here, but you'll see him really have some tough times on Lamb as well as on Teague. Uh, first against Florida State, though, they go one-on-one -on -one into the paint, and you unable to kind of kick into help on that next guy. Not many point guards can. Here, into the paint with ease on him again. And I'm not just picking the plays, uh, which are bad, because right there, that's pretty good defensive play against Teague. Uh, here, Lamb, or excuse me, Teague in the paint again. Teague just can't finish. Fast break. Ooh, just, I mean, that's not pretty at all. Here it is again. Lamb gets all the way to the rim. They're not finishing, but you've got to defend that better. He's now going to be guarding with a nice kick step in right there. If you saw that, he's the one who created the steal. It was a pretty play right uh, by Marshall off the ball. Now he's guarding off the ball far right side. Lamb pushes him off, comes free. Nice job fighting through that pick. That's what his size allows him to do. They set the pick and roll. He goes under it nicely. So you can see fundamentally he's got the right idea. Now in this next one, they're going to come down on the other side, curl around him. He ends up on the ground, has a hard time handling that. Final thing I want to show you is a late game play. Against Kentucky early in the year, top, uh, down by one, 19 seconds left. Roy Williams doesn't call a timeout. Look how calm he is coming to the front court. Get me into something. He gets him into a high pick and roll. Nicely comes across. Zeller rolls with him, puts the ball right where he needs to. Zeller loses it. That's not on him. That shows you what a true good point guard this kid is. Kentucky holds on to win that game. That is Kendall Marshall, six foot four, 195. The passing is the elite skill. The lack of athleticism on the defensive end and ability to finish at the rim, as well as questionable shooting, are the things that make you worry and a bit concerned about his NBA career.